What's up guys? Welcome to Foodscape and welcome to another vlog. And this vlog is very interesting just because we have covered a big team. We have a big team with us now, and with the big team, this this is the very first time when Foodscape has flew and covered all the journey from flight. So we are in Jabalpur right now. So we are in Bogi, which is 30 kilometers away from Jabalpur, and uh, we are in Michael. So Michael is a resort. Which is under Madhya Pradesh tourism, and here we are to give you a review of the resort. And Thanks to Madhya Pradesh tourism and Amit Singh sir who has given us this huge opportunity to cover up this resort. And uh, guys, we are very proud and we are very uh, in the case to say that yes, we have achieved our target. And this was the first flight, as I said. we have covered up a journey where we have seen multiple stages when we fall down when we were getting up we got some new people we were having a great team around which helped us towards this stage and thank you all for being with us so now let's go towards the breakfast and uh, i'll show you the entire day i'll show you the rooms here i'll show you the breakfast lunch dinner and the food around there is also a special uh, this which i am going to show you which is which would be in the lunch i guess and let's go now so guys this is the reception of the restaurant and uh, here is the restaurant view the whole restaurant is covered in the beautiful scenery of the lake as you know that i have given you a quick tour of the restaurant So now we are at the table where there is cover set of us three. So as you can see here, the coasters are aligned. The everything is closed and everything is kept in a hygienic manner. And there is a differentiation between the pickles and uh, the seasonings. As you can see, there is ketchup and all this. This is the COVID guidelines they follow. So as as we are all facing the COVID scenario, there. Everywhere, every resort is supposed to follow all this, and they are successfully following all this. If you can see from my view, it is like the covers are set and everything is placed accordingly. Even the glasses are covered with coasters, and we we'll get to the food. Every staff here is also following the COVID guidelines. There is a there is a person who is going to come here and place the breakfast. So as you can see, they are having the gloves on. See, they are following all the COVID, COVID standards. So this is what we need right now. And thank you, sir. You can see, like from this is from my view. See, all this is followed under the COVID guidelines. So you can see, this is the pickle which is kept aside, and this is the seasoning which is kept aside. Our breakfast is lined up. as you can see the cover is set and the tissue paper is kept here and the cutlery is set over it so it is not touched anywhere so this is the quick view of the breakfast This is the cleanest bathroom I've ever seen in a resort. This is me. And the most beautiful part of this room is this is a dam facing room. And guys, believe me, this view is amazing. Amazing. So there are 6 rooms in total which are dam facing. and we'll give you a tour of that as well in the evening so at this side there is a dam and this whole water body is so pure so cool and uh, guys the heat here is high so i'm not just standing outside for long the best time to visit here is october so you might visit here in october so this is the overall view of the room Let's get inside. 
So let's talk about the resort now. So they are having six AC deluxe rooms, which is dam facing room, which is the speciality of this resort. And the overall rooms here are 16 rooms, including the disabled room. Guys, the disabled room is a very important room for all those who are disabled. They don't, you know, what happens is ki they cannot just climb up the height. So they need that much uh, assistance, they need that much space to get in. The If a person is disabled, uh, it might be the person uh, is needed to give a card uh, where he is supposed to push. So regular door size differs. So these all rooms are there and uh, guys the dam facing rooms are awesome. I can say that just because I was here, we landed yesterday evening and uh, my god the view and uh, today morning early in the morning i went on the walk to the dam and i insert the clip as well please enjoy the clip and there is a quick tip that the restaurant here is having an amazing view and it is a self serving restaurant so you have to take your food by yourself and this is their menu so they provide you with the regional cuisine as well and the authentic indian cuisine also so you may enjoy that also This is where the electricity is generated for the area and uh, we are at the dam. Now <coughs> Bargi dam pe hai and uh, Subay ki Suhani walk pe bhi hai. This side puri narmada hai aur ye yaha se paani jata hai logo ko. I've never seen a beautiful dam like this before and uh, what a beauty as discussed in the morning this is how the resort is giving you the room service as following the covid guidelines everything is sealed everything is packed and it is not touched by any employee here so as you can see everything is given and i'll give you the Food review. Guys, uh, this is the authentic Bagheli cuisine which is seen in Madhya Pradesh or Jabalpur region. So you can try this as we come and say again and again that we wherever you go, you just try the cuisine out there. You try their own food, their cultural food, their, they, that keeps the authenticity of the food as well and the place as well. And guys, this is what I was waiting for and here we have it. This is Khoya ki Jalebi, which is nothing else in Marathi terms, it is said as Khawachi Jalebi. This is a sweet dish from MP, which is, my god, this is so beautiful. This is the one which I enjoyed the most. I spared out four just to click a photograph and also to shoot this. I enjoyed it so much with this view. Oh god. I was enjoying right here. I was sitting and I was eating all this. I will go towards that side in the evening and I'll explain you the most important part which this resort serves. So the final step is here. So like the last uh, stage which we are covering today is MP Tourism and uh, Michael Resorts have one thing in common which is the boating club which is the most attracted tourist space here. Which is uh, you know like the most fascinating th thing here, they have speed boats, they have jet skis and not only the jet skis is the fascinating point, the cruises is the most basic, basic point. If you come here in a group of uh, like about 10 uh, people, uh, if you are here with a group of big gang of yours, you can enjoy the cruise ride guys and that is
As you have seen in the previous video, uh, like I gave you a glimpse of a houseboat here. We did a lot of rides here actually, and I am completely wet right now. <laughs> Taking that things into consideration, like I was so fascinated by this houseboat, and I came and said, "My God, this houseboat is small, but having three rooms which are stunning. I should say that. And you know what? The authenticity stays here." So you can see like there is the wheel then there is the steering wheel then there is this uh, acceleration and gears and there is also an anchor also surrounded by the most 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 important thing which is the safety you can see that there are three safety lines there and now i'll take you to the room tour please enjoy it so guys here we are in the house boat my god this entire room see how beautiful it is created i should say i i am fascinated by all this light so i am <laughs> something like i go crazy when i see lights and this is what attracts me the most also a stunning view of the whole narmada here What I really went through overall this trip was something unique, something uh, special. Every single vlog of mine has a part wherein I say certain things, I undergo certain emotions which I spend through this uh, journey. Uh, what happens actually is when I come to a place or when we. go to a place i i tend to recognize or we tend to recognize certain things which are seriously there and seriously not there which lacks and around which goes around again and again again and again this time when i was just going through everywhere when i was traveling when i was coming here got welcomed was assisted was then multiple like i went through a multiple stage of my experience right now so I understood the people here are very genuine they are very likely to get you know like they try to console you they like they they like you're not away from home actually you're in your home or you're in a nearby place to your home as said in the introduction that this was the first trip when we flew You know, it is the first time experience for me to just uh, go through a flight in a domestic flight. Though it is domestic or international, it differs. Not most, but your emotions takes place. I got my eyes filled so bad. I was like, just thinking about. I completely lost my experience when I just came back. I just likely got tears in my eyes. my brain was stuff i was just thanking everyone all of all of those who supported me throughout this journey i rectified myself to be growing in a good way and thought that yes i am just getting maximum love from you guys and i i'm seriously thankful for that i one thing which i basically recognized is I'm a localite of Pune, okay. So usually I have seen one thing which I haven't uh, seen anywhere up here. The reason behind why I'm sitting here having a water view behind me is our dams in Pune are not that clean. I've seen a lot of things there. I have things like so wrong, polluting water, just throwing garbage. Here and there, there is everywhere like mess around. You cannot just sit there quietly. Three days here and every single evening, though it is hot here, I tried to come out here just because the view was so amazing. Even the sound of this damn water, though it is very 
slow and uh, it is not having that much wave but what through so much this cleanliness affects a lot of things like your visuals get no single disturbance when you see no litter around i think that one message what i want to spread in this video is to not to litter in everywhere i think that wherever you go just maintain the cleanliness even you should maintain the standards for sure but you know if you keep the place clean the place is going to give you the maximum you live there you can see behind me i can show you also in the vlog mode that mm -hmm. no litter and uh, i'm so thankful for you guys i'm repeating the repeating the same things again and again and again and again but seriously this journey taught me a lot of things every single journey teaches me every new thing i uh, like i go with multiple phases of emotions i drag around i tend to cry sometimes i tend to smile like anything i just go around it just uh, not me speaking up but it happens gradually my heart is still filled i'm st starving actually <laughs> i'll have my breakfast right now but uh, yeah I want to thank you guys for supporting me throughout this journey, and I feel that I could have not done this without you guys and my special backbones. I want to thank everyone, everyone that who are in my life for various reasons are just giving me hopes that. Yes, and successfully, I am trying to just get towards. Like, yes, I can do that. Truthfully, saying that I'm achieving targets which I am planning. At the same time, I'm feeling like, wow, it's a new journey every single time I just go around. And uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not able to talk myself much. But thank you guys for watching this video. Thank if you like this video then make sure you like it, share, subscribe and share it to all your loved ones. And I especially say that uh, please do visit Madhya Pradesh and uh, please do visit Michael Resort. This resort not only just promoting this resort but this is a perfect place I should say that yeah I have enjoyed a lot of silence here. and uh, i think that is it for the video and we'll see you in the next vlog till then keep foodscaping and cheers cheers guys bye bye